All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to get rid of pesticides that's on your fruit by using baking soda. Now, your fruits and vegetables more than likely have pesticides on them and they are acidic-based pesticides, so you need to neutralize them. And the way to do that is by using baking soda. So, in a cup, or not a cup, but a bowl, you need water, right? And you need, for every one quart of water that you have, you're gonna take a tablespoon and then you're going to add two tablespoons of baking soda. All right, so one, two. And that's, I have about two quarts of water in here, I believe. So I'm gonna put four in here. So for every one quart, you need two tablespoons. But since I have two quarts, I used two, four tablespoons. All right, so once I have this in here, I'm just gonna go ahead and stir up the solution to get the baking soda to dissolve. All right, now this, uh, the temperature right here is just uh, natural, you know, tap water. Use cold water from the tap water right here. I don't wanna use hot water because I don't want to cook the fruits and vegetables. So once I have that, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my fruit because I stirred the solution up and I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in here. So I'm gonna pour, put the fruits and vegetables in here. I have some blueberries in there. They probably need it more than anything. And then I also have some blackberries. Now I'm gonna put the blackberries in there as well. All right, I could probably put some more fruit in there, but I'm just doing this for video purposes. So once I have this in there, I'm gonna make sure all of the fruit has contact with the water. And I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes. And then letting it sit for about 10 minutes will neutralize the acidic pesticides that are on the fruits and vegetables. All right, just like you add baking soda to vinegar, you see a reaction, it actually neutralizes the vinegar or the vinegar neutralizes the baking soda, whichever you want to talk, say. And that's what's going on right here, except for their acidic based pesticides and not vinegar on here that is being neutralized. So I'm gonna let this wait for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and drain it, all right? All right, after about 10 minutes, you want to go ahead and strain the fruit. All right, so right here I have the fruit that's been soaking in the baking soda solution, and I have a strainer right here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this into the strainer, the fruit into the strainer. Now, once you do, you've done this, you want to rinse this with cold water. Rinse this with cold water, a lot of cold water, make sure you get all uh, it all off. If you wanna soak it in just plain water to make sure that you got all of the baking soda off, you can certainly do that. So just make sure you rinse it really well, to get rid of all of the baking soda that you use to neutralize the acidic pesticides that is on was on the fruit. So after you rinse it really well, you can go ahead and eat it, knowing that you've neutralized acidic pesticides from your fruit. I hope this was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.